Hey guys, and welcome back to another week of Instagram stories. You guys already know the drill. If you guys want to watch this the best possible way, watch it on your phone or on your tablet or somewhere where the screen is diagonal or whatever, you know, vertical, as opposed to horizontal, so that way you don't get those things on the side, those bars that nobody likes. Anyways, guys, I'm just going to keep it short so that way you guys can enjoy the show and uh, yeah, shut the fuck up. Shut Shut the fuck up, man. You talk so much. Exactly. All right, guys. So without further ado, enjoy the Instagram week in review. Shut up already. All right, all right. I'm, I'm the worst mime ever. Buenos, good dia, morning, happy day. Happy Thursday, guys. Hope all is well out there in uh, your world. Anyways, um, making some coffee. About to get ready for my day. Hope you guys are doing awesome. So every single morning I wake up and I check out my video upload because I kind of post them um, ahead of time so that way they post at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Eastern time zone time. So that way everyone, when you guys wake up, you guys always have a video of mine to watch. And it's funny because every time I post any kind of like Mexico video or Monday motivation or just, you know, random thoughts like that, they actually, you know, by this time of this morning, like very early on, I already have like a close to 100 views, give or take. And uh, what the hell was that? Did you hear that? Anyways, but then as soon as, um, you know, I post like something about crypto, you know, it's the same time frame. I got like 14 views and I'm like, bro, what the, what the fuck, bro? I think I just realized why it's been a little weird, not just uh, with my videos and the views and uh, all this other stuff, but like the last couple weekends, how it's been very busy on the streets. Usually it's a little, you know, less busy and so on and so forth. I forgot, it's uh, school season coming up, like literally, isn't it? Like starting like soon. It is August 1st today. I don't know when it starts, but man, thank God I don't have to remember anymore. <laughs> Shout out to all you guys out there that do. Look at that. It's a big ass moth or butterfly or whatever the hell that is. I think it's a moth. But yeah, see look, it's right behind my head. Thank God I got that mesh screen there, huh? No, it's funny because I recorded an episode talking about the weather in Merida and also briefly touching on bugs. And the bugs part was towards the end of the episode and I really didn't get to touch much on it. And uh, one of the things that I forgot to mention was the fact that, you know, there's flies everywhere and they're constantly always biting me. You guys know, most of you guys know, you know, the fly situation is here, is out of hand. And also, you know, just like I was talking about that mesh screen, which helps keep the buggers away, you know, this doesn't help. The fact that I keep the door wide open all the fucking time. So as you guys already know, birds, all kinds of fucking things fly in here. You know, I wouldn't be surprised that a fucking iguana shows up one of these days. I mean, how do you think Lambo got here? Where is he? There he is. So one thing I kind of want to talk about, which I'm going to talk about in more future episodes and all that good stuff, but, you know, just the fact that I think I'm going to start, you know, just making videos depending on what's going on. So, for example, today I made a crypto video, you know, and I'm thinking, oh, yeah, it's going to do great. It's going to do wonderful. It's a good subject. And sure enough, no one's watching it. And, um, you know, a lot of you guys want me to make crypto videos. I want to make crypto videos, but nobody watches them. But yet, every time I make any kind of Mexico video talking about all, anything, literally, um, I get a lot of views. And I like making those videos, too. I love making those. I love making the vlogs. I love making the Monday Motivation. So what I think I'm going to just end up doing is I'm just, just going to go with the season. You know, just like that Doug Polk crypto guy, you know, he makes different kinds of videos like me too so i'm just gonna focus on mexico motivation all the awesome stuff you guys love and then when uh the time's appropriate i'll switch back to crypto by the way before you guys out there have a titty attack or whatever the hell i'm still gonna be making crypto videos again wednesdays i do my live stream i'm always gonna keep doing that and then you know maybe i'll do one or two a week Oof, it is crazy hot out here today Came out here to do a video, uh, just talking about Mexico and, uh, you know, Paseo Montejo out here in Merida and all that good stuff. And, man, I am sweating balls. And it's hot and the camera just turned off, so we're both taking a break. Man, it's, it's the humidity, man. I'm telling you right now, that's what's making it so much worse. Um, again, I was just out here filming and um, about 16, 17 minutes in and bam, it shuts off. So and I'm going to give it a little break because I got a lot more to film. And the thing is, I better hurry the hell up because... 
as I can see, it's about to rain. You might, might not be able to see it, but it is, so, you know, I don't want to get all wet. That's what she said. Alrighty, I just finished filming an episode uh, walking through Parque Santana and through Paseo Montejo, giving a little bit of a, you know, poor man's walking tour around the area and uh, telling everybody, you know, about what I know about the area and all that good stuff. So I think we did a good episode. Now I'm hurrying up because I know you might see only blue skies over here, but if you look past that way, it's all dark skies and I can hear the thunder and rain already on its way. And um, yeah, I already told you guys, I hope I don't get caught in the rain, but I kind of have to go and take care of these things I got to go take care of and uh, just hoping for the best. You know, worst case scenario, if it does rain, hey, I'll fucking get an Uber home, you know? Hey, $1. Now I'm at my favorite place on earth, Walmart. Well, actually, it's really not my favorite place, but they have really cold AC in here. All right, I better not stay too long in here, because otherwise I'll probably end up getting a cold. All right, so I just had a little bit of a cool moment right now um, as I was paying. Seems like the people over here already know who I am, and they were literally just asking me, hey, so what's your YouTube channel? What's your, <laughs> what's your social media? What's your whatever? So, uh... Yeah, seems like um, I'm even famous in my own little neighborhood. I'm, I'm surprised they just didn't put my name. They already know my name, full full name. So I'm surprised they didn't even already typed it in and search for me. But hey, I guess next time I come here, I'm going to be a real celebrity. kind of weird to me. Every time I bump into somebody on the street and they know who I am and I have no idea who the hell they are. Or people that kind of know me but don't know me. And then eventually they just, you know, have the courage to ask me. Hey, who are you? And uh, wow, how cool it is that you are who you are. And it's just awesome. I don't know. I mean, the more I do this, the more I love it. And the more I, I, I realize that, fuck, I am doing what I really love and what I want to do. And I encourage you guys even more to do what you love. I just got home and, man, is that heat and humidity serious out there. Cool thing about walking home today, I bumped into, like, I don't know, three people that I know already. Uh, one, uh just someone that I know from the neighborhood saying hi then I bumped into the water guy you know the water guy that comes here all the time I, he's like hey do you need a gallon do you want me to swing by later and then guess who the bread guy you know I was just catching him in between things and he's like hey are you want me to swing by later and draw you know for some bread and I'm like fuck yeah you better man I was about to shower and I almost forgot that the bread guy was coming through see look at him there he is <laughs> got my bread happy happy and I'm um, still waiting for the water, guys, so I'm just going to leave the tank out there. I put the change right behind the water tank, and he already knows what's up. He just has to come in and uh, get the water, put my water there, get the change and the tip, and we're good to go. So, yeah, man. All right, now I'm going to go shower and uh, get back to work. Long-ass fucking day today. Um, just been doing some work on the websites, and now I just finished, uh, you know, editing a video real quick. Um, and, you know, that's it. But yeah, just a lot of work on the websites, and I'm going to do some more work. But I just realized it's 9 o'clock, so I think I should eat. And then maybe get some more work done. But anyways, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, regardless, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. Hey, hey, hey. Happy Friday morning to you guys out there. You already know what's up. Weekend's here. Yeah. And uh, I think some of you guys are already ending your summer and getting ready for school so enjoy it while you can you know before i even posted my friday morning hello i was just scrolling through my instagram and uh i came across uh another one of these awesome videos of the popo in the u.s doing amazing amazing work so in today's episode in uh whatever the hell i just saw it was a cop that was assisting a 65 year old grandma by tasering and uh, tasering and arresting and abusing her ass over a broken tail leg. great work brother so, you know most people understand and know why i live in mexico or you know just live abroad and um anytime that there's any family member or anyone out there that just doesn't get it or understands why I don't want to live in the US anytime soon or even go back to visit I just show them any one of these videos that as you guys already know you know there's multiple of these videos every single day sometimes way worse than just that and they're a constant reminder um, because of my girlfriend I try not to watch those videos anymore because they are unhealthy to constantly watch those and especially since I'm not in that environment anymore but man 
It really just boils my blood every time I see that shit. And what really boils my blood is seeing nobody do anything about it. You know, I'm sorry for my little rant there, but, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, I know shit happens all around the world. You know, there are worse situations around the world. I get it. I totally, totally get it. But the thing is, when you are an American or, you know, you are Canadian or, you know, European, I don't know, Australian, any one of these first world countries, right, civilized countries, the last thing we expect is for these things to happen. But yet they do. And they're only getting worse and worse. In fact, you know, right now, you know, they're cracking heads in Hong Kong. They're cracking heads in Chile. They're cracking heads in Paris. They're cracking heads in Oklahoma. They're cracking heads everywhere. So just wear your fucking helmets, all right? Okay, so now I'm just going to do that uh, Kermit the Frog uh, meme, you know, where I'm just minding my own business. What do I know? Oh, you found it? All right, we're hanging out at the arts and crafts store. I don't know what we're buying, but something. Some beads. So yeah, this is like a Michaels, only it's like way bigger and awesomer. Yeah, so I'm just hanging out here at the arts and crafts store. Buying arts and crafts with the peoples. There's a lot of arts and crafts going on here. She's gonna repair a necklace, that's why. So she's spending like a dollar fifty cents. Uh oh, what's that? To repair a necklace. Happy, happy Monday morning. Hope you guys are already grabbing life in the week by the balls and having no freaking mercy because. The weekend having mercy on you, so you better go out there and kill it. That's right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Guys, uh, what time is it? You know what time it is. It's coffee time. Coffee time! Coffee time! Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, well, I'm on my way to Walmart. You already know the deal. I'm here with my camera and... Oh, wait a minute. This ain't a camera. This is a uh, bug racket. Well, why do I have my bug racket? Well, because mine broke, and so I had to buy another one in order to kill bugs, but when I got home, plugged it in and all that shit, guess what? I found out that this one was broken too, so now I gotta go return it. So I got the handy receipt here, see if I can get uh, another one so I can come back and kill bugs again, because, yeah, they're, they're, they're killing me. Hell yeah, I was able to go return the racket and they gave me my money back, even better. So now I'm gonna go get me another racket. Let's, uh, let's go find the rackets. I don't even know what the hell they are. Alrighty, so I just uh, finished finding the racket and it's in between, you know, all this pile of stuff here, as you guys can see. I just finished playing an awesome game of uh, Walmart Tetris. I made it to level 98 and a half. Ooh, finally, some rain. Ooh, it's raining hard. Ooh. Oh, getting wet over here. Nice. Very cold. Very nice. Finally, it's been scorching heat. I mean, Jesus, man. It's been crazy, horrible, hot. And uh, finally, hope this thing will finally cool things down. Hope it rains all night long. All night long. All right, working on some other stuff while I wait for these things and wait for the rain and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be raining all night long, all night. I just wanted to say that again. Check it out, just made some new shirts. I love Mexico, get over it. 
bad hombre. That's right. And look, we got women's versions too. I love Mexico. I love bad hombres. No homo. I don't love bad hombres. Just saying for the ladies out there. And just a reminder, in case you have no idea where to get these shirts, just go to joseartega.com. Links in the profile or links at the bottom of the video description. And uh, go to the store and check it out. Great. I just found out that I did something wrong with a copyright or whatever and they took the shirt down. Fucking hour of work down the drain. I wonder if it was the, the Mexico thing, the picture of Mexico. I don't think somebody copyrighted bad hombres or something. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. I guess I gotta try again after I eat dinner. Oh well. It is what it is. What are we gonna do, huh? Shit happens. Happy good morning to all you. Happy Taco Tuesday. Yeah, that's right. That's Tuesday. Mm. Sorry, I didn't film me brewing my coffee. I've been busy at work already, but hope you guys are having a wonderful day as well. Hey, 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 guys. What are you guys up to? I'm in that Centro, and I'm not filming because I just finished filming, and I just finished running an errand, and now I'm on my way to another errand. So I was like, hey, I know. I can grab my phone and film with that and show you guys my fat face. Actually, on my way now to pay the phone bill. Look how beautiful, look how beautiful it is. Just the background, look at this. Right in front of a Burger King. <laughs> you already know what's up. All right, guys, look how bright it is, it's hot. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful Taco Tuesday, cause I know I am. Actually, I've been really crazy busy, so crazy busy that, I mean, you know, I haven't even had time to eat my tacos. Man, it is so hot and nasty, literally. It's like 86 degrees to like 88 humidity. It's fucking, I mean, for real, this is exactly what Miami feels like. Hot summer nights, it's no bueno. All right, hold on, hold on. Better. Hope you guys are having a wonderful hump day. I know I am. Fuck yeah. Coffee time. Woo-hoo. Yeah, buddy. So I got my hair all fixed, and I'm about to have my coffee. Look at that, you hear it? Uh, just wanted to remind you guys, I'm going live on YouTube in about an hour, so if you and guys ain't doing anything, join me on YouTube. Link's at the bottom. Man, so I fucking wake up this morning, and again, sweating balls, just sweat, sweat. And I'm thinking to myself, man, why the hell is it so hot? I mean, this feels like Miami when I used to wake up in Miami. So, of course, I check the... You know, the weather, and, uh, you know, we're back to 88 degrees with, like, 78 billion humidity. Fuck. Anyways, I hate the humidity so much, and especially when it's, like, more than the weather itself. As I was posting that last post, I was thinking to myself, you know, Billy Idol, sweat, sweat, sweat. Or, uh, I forgot the other song, it's like, I got sweat dripping down my balls. Sticking to my balls. I forgot the song anyway. But yeah, um, I'm about to go live in like around 45 minutes, give or take. And I usually have my computer on and I'm working on stuff. But I got to have it off because it was already like so fucking hot. It was burning my hand. All right, it wasn't that hot, but it was pretty hot. I mean, look, you can see the sweat. What are you guys doing? Are you guys on uh, the YouTube channel yet? You should click on the link in the description of my Instagram profile so that way you can come check me and Lambo out live. Well, today was a bit of a weird broadcast. Literally me and Lambo and just like a handful of people were the only ones around today. I don't know why. Usually I'm getting a lot more viewers, a lot of viewers, literally. Uh, and uh, today felt like uh, one of my first ever broadcasts, you know, when it was just uh, me by myself. I didn't even have this guy around. It was just me. And I uh, would talk to like an empty screen and uh, yeah, just get views later. So, I mean, I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. I'm, I'm also thinking that maybe people are getting tired of him. No, no. Honestly, that's not it. Oh, alarm. Forgot about that. But yeah, I think uh, most people are, you know, just going back to school, going back to their regular lives because summer is over. The work and the fun never ends. On my way now to go meet a fan. You already know what's up. So, yeah. I'm running a little late, just five, ten minutes late. You know me, I always do a million things, but yeah, I'm on my, I'm on my way to go meet one of you guys. Hell yeah. I'm actually pretty excited. I'm always excited. I'm always happy. But you already know. Um, all right, well, I'm going to let you go so I can cross the street, okay, and pay attention to what I'm looking at. All right, just got home. 
I was drenched in sweat literally from head to toe. That's how hot and humid it was. Plus, it was just one of those freaking days when, uh, you know, a bunch of things started going wrong, but it's okay. They started going right eventually. So it was uh, all just uh, staying positive, you know, with a positive mindset and everything worked out. But man, am I exhausted. I feel like I just ran like a, a marathon and I'm in a sauna and all that shit. I just want to pass the fuck out. Sometimes I just don't know when to stop. So yeah, I mean, I have a million things to do, but it's just so much important stuff that I got to talk about that, yeah, you guessed it, I busted him out so we can record another episode so I can upload something so I can have something for you guys tomorrow. I mean, even though I have plenty of episodes all the way through next week, you know, a lot of times, you know, there's certain things in the news that I just have to talk about and it has to be in a timely fashion. So I got to put all the other ones on hold and record a new one. So that's what I'm doing. Look at this guy. What are you doing, man? Hey, that's not me. She knows more than you do, bro. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. Hey, guys. Hope you guys are having a wonderful hump day. Well, it's already the end of hump day. Hopefully, you got humped or humped. Anyways, today has been a very long and difficult day. I had a lot of ups and downs. A lot of uh, really good stuff happened. And a lot of uh, really weird shitty stuff happened but at the end nothing bad really happened it was just you know one of those one of those days but thank god it all turned out okay because literally honestly i'm still just barely finishing off with the fucking disaster that was today but again always with a positive and optimistic attitude and man everything sure as hell does work out for the best in the end what sucks about going to bed at 2 in the morning is that sometimes you miss your alarm and you wake up crazy late and then when you wake up crazy late you realize you don't have a video upload for today and that it was meant for later and this got scheduled at the wrong time and so now I'm going to be doing a premiere so I got to hurry up and make my coffee, drink my coffee and uh, get ready so that I can be there premiering the video with all of you guys. If you guys don't know what it means just go to YouTube and I'll see you guys there. Hey guys. Just working on, you already know what. Yeah, trying to finish this baby up. It's been such a long time. Jesus, man. Just Johnny putting Jackson. in the last finishing touches so I can just turn this baby in and, yeah, you know, just upload it to my channel, promote it, all that good stuff. It's been driving me crazy. It's, but it's, it's a good crazy. You know what I mean? It's uh, been a long, long ass journey and uh, it's hopefully coming to an end already. All right, all right, all right. I think I'm gonna be done. I hope this is on the, only the the last final, final, final cut before the final cut. Yeah, so now as soon as I'm done with this, which should be any second now, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna finish up here so I can get the Instagram stories ready for the week so that you guys have, you know, something to watch on Sunday. All right, so the video's already done. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna start downloading all the videos from Instagram that I shot all week onto the computer so that I can edit them real quick so that I can have Sunday's episode which as you guys already know is uh, the Instagram stories week in review and uh, there you go that's it so that's what I'm doing now all right let me take my finger off this button so I can get to work see these are all the Instagram files and on my phone and I transfer them over here then I record the intro, you know, and outro, and then that's it. I just put it all together, and uh, bam, there you go. Sunday, week in review. Did you enjoy that? I sure did. I was watching the whole thing, like literally. I was with this guy all freaking week, and oh my God. You guys think he's bad on TV. You have no idea how he's in person. This freaking guy. I feed him. I give him a home. I, I treat him pretty good, and yet, you know, all he does is, you know, just talk shit about pretty good. You treat me, you don't, what the, uh, help, help. This fucking guy. And his, anyways, he's a millennial, as you guys can tell. Freaking millennial. Your girlfriend's a millennial too. Bro, this fuck. All right, I gotta deal with this horse. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, and, um, 
You already know the draw. I'll see you guys mañana, Monday Motivation. I hope you guys are ready to kick it in the ass. Enjoy your Sunday, all right? Because tomorrow is back to work. Right? This fucking, this guy, this, this guy, I swear to God, all he does is, uh, como se dice, this guy's worse than a, than a, so, than a Mexican soap opera. You done, bro? You done? You done? You think you're funny, huh? Oh, shit. He talks like me. Bye, guys. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambel are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And um, I'm going to be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special requests on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.